Governor Hobbs is pausing executions in Arizona. Cronkite News reporter Alyssa Munoz is telling us what the reasons are. Governor Hobbs made this decision in order to find a more effective way for the death penalty process. Because of this decision, the execution of Aaron Gunches, who murdered Ted Price back in 2002, is now being delayed. Now, Price's family is suing the governor. So far in Arizona, there has been 40 people who have died by lethal injection, according to the Death Penalty Information Center. Attorney Daniel Ortega says some of these processes have had issues in the past. One thing that we have to look at, not only as lawyers, but as members of the public, is that we've experienced uh, a number of executions that have not gone well in terms of the length of the executions, depending on what method was being used. In late January, Governor Hobbs sent out a press release stating, with the Arizona Department of Corrections, Rehabilitation and Reentry now under new leadership, it's time to address the fact that this is a system that needs better oversight on numerous fronts. Arizona has a history of mismanaged executions that have resulted in serious questions and concerns about ADCRR's execution protocols and lack of transparency. She's just saying, look, I want to put uh, something together that tells me that when we execute, that we do it in a manner uh, that's not... Uh, cruel and unusual. The governor has a review commissioner studying the death penalty process to learn how to make it more transparent. The governor and director are now required to appear in court on Thursday to justify their decision. In Phoenix, Alyssa Munoz, Cronkite News. Experts believe Hobbs and her team will bring up the recent mismanagement of the system, citing lack of staffing with the proper expertise.